Sketch one cycle of the graph y equals 2 times the sine of 2x, identifying the amplitude, period, and five major points. You must identify each x-coordinate within the cycle. Okay, with this being said, our equation follows that equation. a times the sine of bx, a being your amplitude, and b allowing us to find our period. So in this case, we're, we need our amplitude, which is the absolute value of a, which is the absolute value of 2, which is just 2. To find our period, we need to divide 2 pi divided by b, which is 2. With that being said, our period is just pi. And we also need to find the five major points between each in our graph. So, to find our, the distance between the major points, we will always take our period divided by 4. So in this case, it will be pi, which is our period, divided by 4. And we'll have 1 fourth in between each. Now I'm going to erase a little bit of this so I can move upwards with my graph. Okay. Now, when I draw my y-axis, I'm going to draw it a little bit more to the left because I don't really need the negatives. In this case, um, I'm going to start with 0. And then <clears throat> I'm going to point my first point, which is pi over 4. And if you add another fourth to pi over 4, you end up with pi over 2. Another fourth to pi over 2 is 3 pi over 4. And another fourth is just pi. With that being said, pi is our period, which makes sense. Our amplitude is 2, so we're going to match up. Um, you want to do it to scale. So pi over 4 is about 0.78, so a little bit more than pi over 4. Take that measurement and mark 1. And you can double that and make that 2. Okay. Now that we have our graph all spotted out, we can now graph our points following the sine pattern. The pattern is our x-intercept, our maximum point, our x-intercept, our minimum point, and our x-intercept again. So, our first point is our x-intercept, which is just 0. Our maximum point is 2 because that's our amplitude. Our x-intercept again is pi over 2. Our minimum is at negative 2. And we're back to pi at our x-intercept. So when we graph Our graph should look something like that. It's kind of messy because I'm on a dry erase board. But that's how you graph y equals 2 times the sine of 2x.